The role of the Spirit in us is to remind us of the words of Christ. He is actively doing the work of Christ and was sent by Christ to dwell in believers. Indeed, God the Holy Spirit is a wonderful helper. He helps us in our weakness. The Bible says that the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. And the fruits of the Spirit, the fruits of the Spirit that we should desire and chase are for love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Your entire life as a believer is determined, influenced, guided by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit convicts you to change your life and turn away from sin. And that's only the beginning. Here's what the Bible says about the Holy Spirit. In John chapter 14 from verse 15 to 18, the Word of God says, If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. And then verse 26 says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. So to the one who asks, how will I walk in wisdom and not fall back into my old ways, the Holy Spirit will help you do this. How can I remove this desire of sin? The Holy Spirit will help you walk in the Spirit, and He will give you the strength to fight those tempting desires of the flesh. How do I live with boldness as a fearless Christian in these evil days? The Holy Spirit will give you power and authority. He will be your helper. It's the Holy Spirit who will help you to understand and discover God's will for your life. The key for us is willingness. Are you willing to be absorbed, to be filled by the Holy Spirit? Furthermore, the Holy Spirit challenges you. He challenges you to do right. I've too often heard that still small voice within me saying, you need to pray today. Have you read God's word? This isn't something you should be listening to. The Holy Spirit challenges you to live right to examine yourself even, and to see all that's hindering you. It's a beautiful thing to have the Holy Spirit and welcome Him into your life. In Ephesians 1 verse 13, the Bible tells us one of the most extraordinary things. And I believe this is something that we all need to know and cherish. The Bible says, and you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit. When we heard the message of truth, the message of truth being the gospel of Jesus Christ, the gospel that tells us that Jesus Christ died on a cross for our sins and then rose again from the dead. When we heard this message of truth, the gospel of salvation. Then, when we believed this message, we were marked in Christ with a seal, and that seal is the Holy Spirit. I find it incredible that the Bible tells us this. When you believe in Jesus Christ, the Lord can identify you as His own by the seal that is upon your life, the Holy Spirit. And so, for anyone who struggles with knowing their identity, let me tell you that your identity is in Jesus Christ because He has branded you, He has marked you, and sealed you with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit authenticates the believer from the unbeliever. This is why the Bible tells us that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Now, what happens when the Holy Spirit enters the life of a person? 
What are the signs to look for when you want to identify if the Holy Spirit is in your life? Well, to begin with, the Holy Spirit is our helper. The Amplified Translation for John chapter 16, verse 7 says, But I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper, Comforter, Advocate, Intercessor, Counselor, Strengthener, Standby, will not come to you. But if I go, I will send Him, the Holy Spirit, to you to be in close fellowship with you. When you are feeling powerless, the Holy Spirit will help you. When you are low and feeling tired, the Holy Spirit will help you. When you feel too weak to pray, the Holy Spirit will help you. When you have the Holy Spirit in your life, you will find Him to be a helper, just as the Bible says. It doesn't mean that life will be easy, and it certainly doesn't mean that your Christian life will be easy, but it does mean that in those difficult and tough moments, you have divine help. You have help from above. You have the Holy Spirit. Another sign that the Holy Spirit is in your life is that it beckons you to do God's will. He encourages you to do the will of the Lord. In the book of Acts, there is an astonishing passage of Scripture that demonstrates just how the Holy Spirit can work in our lives. Acts chapter 8, verse 26 to 31 says, Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Rise and go toward the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desert place. And he rose and went. And there was an Ethiopian, a eunuch, a court official of Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who was in charge of all her treasure. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning, seated in his chariot, and was reading the prophet Isaiah. And the spirit said to Philip, Go over and join this chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, How can I, unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. Notice that in verse 29 the Bible says, And the Spirit said to Philip, Go over and join this chariot. The Holy Spirit led Philip to explain the gospel of Jesus Christ to this Ethiopian eunuch. Acts 8 verse 35 to 39 of the Bible says, Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with this scripture, he told him the good news about Jesus. And as they were going along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What prevents me from being baptized? And he commanded the chariot to stop, and they both went down into the water, Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. The Holy Spirit led Philip to minister about the gospel of Jesus Christ to someone who was ready to be saved. And you and I can be. In fact, we should seek to be led by the Holy Spirit in this same way. The Holy Spirit can lead you to pray for a family member or a friend without them ever having told you that they are going through something. The Holy Spirit can lead you to pick up the phone and offer someone a word of encouragement when they are in a dark place. And so we need to be sensitive to His voice. Another sign that the Holy Spirit has entered your life can be found in Romans 15 verse 13. The Bible reads, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. The power of the Holy Spirit helps us to have hope. In this world, there are so many things that can leave you discouraged. So many things come in life and they threaten to kill your joy. However, the power of the Holy Spirit will be our source of hope. Furthermore, When the Holy Spirit enters your life, He will convict you of sin. John 16, verse 7 to 8 says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send Him to you. And when He comes, He will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. When the Holy Spirit is in your life, The sin that you used to enjoy will become painful to take pleasure in because the Holy Spirit will convict your heart. He will remind you of the price that Jesus Christ paid for you on the cross. The Holy Spirit will convict you to live a life that is pure and pleasing to the Lord 
and he will certainly convict you to forsake the sin in your life.